How about Jalen Ramsey? We knew this guy was a good player for a long, a good, long wait, time. Wait, 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 wait. You said a good he was player? Good, but this was a whole nother level, Jalen Ramsey, and we've seen it all from this guy. What would you think from him tonight, Rod? I thought he was awesome. I, I thought Raheem Morris did a great job of moving him around, playing him on the outside, playing him on the inside. He got a couple tackle for losses. Man, where you get that mean streak from? Because you just a dog. <laughs> you ain't no cornerback, dog. You a safety. <laughs> hey, man, I'm, just, I, I'm blessed, man. You know, God has blessed me. Um, with so much, man, with so much talent. And so me just honoring him is just going and working hard, developing my skill, you know, trying to be a leader to my teammates. And Coach, uh, he's utilizing me in ways I've never been utilized before, you know. Um, so I'm just out there having an extremely fun time, honestly. First time inside this packed house here at SoFi. What oh, yeah. was the feeling walking out? Oh, it was electric. Oh, yeah, it was, it was nice in here. Last year was a little different, a little weird, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, I feel like we still play well, but this year with the with the energy and the crowd, like we feed off of that. So I'm excited, you know, for the, for the rest of our home games too, so for them to show up and show out. I mean, you look at Matthew Stafford. What does he get? Big you, nine, man? did yeah, it? Yeah, today, yeah. big he? plays down the field. What does he bring to this home team? Oh uh, man, uh, man, just one of the best leaders I ever been around. Like he controls and has a command of that offense like I've never seen before. Him and Sean, they they got their little thing. They doing it together and. Man, you see him connecting on deep passes, no look passes. Uh, his ball placement is crazy, just how where he's putting it for the receiver to catch it and only the receiver to be able to catch it. So he's doing things like that that challenges us um, in practice to be the best. And we like to think that we're the best in the, in the, in the game, so we like to feel like we're challenging him as well. And we hope it is working like that. Amen. Coach Staley heads over to coach the Chargers on oh, the yeah. other side of L.A. What's different about your role in this defense this year? How are they moving you around? What's, what feels different from your perspective? Uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I guess, trying to be utilized so where teams can't shy away from me as much so I can get in a little action, so I can get in some run fits, make some TFLs, be on the perimeter, control the perimeter a little bit. And then also I'm still getting out on the edge. That's where I love to be. So I'm having fun doing all of that, honestly. And, and they just utilizing me. They, they see that my value is there. So uh, why minimize it? Why, why pigeonhole me to one thing when I can do so much? So Brother, we, we got to watch the film. Maybe the play that, that was just up, uh, the, tack, the tackle on the tight end, kind of in open space, that's a really tough tackle um, that most people wouldn't understand. But I was able to stand them up, and my teammates was able to rally and, and come uh, help me secure that tackle, either that one or the bubble play. Now, you and Aaron Donald get most of all the attention, but mm -hmm. tell me about – Give me one player on your defense that a lot of people don't know about that's going to be that guy. One. Give me one. Give me three. Give me uh, four. Give me some. I, I, I'm going to go. I'm, you know I'm going to go with my DBs. I'm going to go with Jordan Fuller, D. Will, D. Lo. They balling. D. Lo, he came Who and he had D. Lo? His, D. Lo had his pick today. Okay. You okay. know, in the, in, the, in the secondary, me and D. Will, we kind of made our name for ourselves in the league a little bit. And uh, D. Lo, not too many people knew about him. We very confident in him. Obviously, he was out here today on that first drive when they drove it down here on us. He turned it up. They got a turnover. He got an interception. However it happened, he popped the year off for us. I'm uh, super happy for him. And Jordan Fuller, man, he got the green dot. Yeah. You know what I mean? He out there calling plays. That's something tough to do from the safety spot. You got to kind of control and have a command of the whole defense. He's doing a great job only in year two doing that. You know what I mean? Um, and then you got Taylor Rapp, who just disruptive in all phases. And the communication from our safeties down to everybody else is just great, honestly. And I, I'm, talk I'm just talking about the secondary right now because they're my guys. But yeah. I can really talk about the whole defense. Jalen, just take me inside that locker room. Coach yep. McVay, now you have Stafford in the building. Yourself, AD, Mr. Mm -hmm. Donald, all these guys. What's the vibe inside that building? It looks we special got some personalities, from a distance, right? <laughs> we got some personalities in there, but uh, it all clicks and it all gels. Everybody is able to be themselves. Uh, where you know, it's not like that in some places. Yeah. It's a vibe, you know. It's just a, a, a good energy, a good vibe that we have around there. Everybody is serious about ball but when we're not playing football we can interact and we can we can have good times but when it's time to work we're gonna work as well everybody got that same mindset Jalen, i know you're a very emotional player but when you get overboard who's that one guy on the team that can kind of pull you to the side and calm you down and get you back focused ad for sure ad i i, I got a i got a big brother shout out to my big brother back home if you watch. <laughs> but uh a, ad is like a big brother out here on this field to me um, in, a, in a lot of ways, and, and a lot of the ways are honestly just the way he goes about his business. Yeah. He don't even really got to say much, but at times AD can come holler at me, and you know, I'm going to I'm I'm respect that that's walking He's Hall of inspiring, Fame right isn't he? Yeah, inspiring. Now, I don't even know if inspiring is the right word. He, he different. He's just he's <laughs> special, man. God bless him. You mentioned your brother back home. You're a father now, too. How oh, has yeah. fatherhood Congratulations, changed your perspective? Man, <laughs> man, I love my daughters. You know what I mean? I got three beautiful daughters. Yeah. They so amazing. Um, 
they love each other. I love their love. Uh, a daughter, daughter and father love is different. It's totally different. Obviously, I want a son one day. What's it like? What's it can. like? As a man, it it uh it brings me like a peace. Yeah. It brings me uh, a patience in my life that I that I desperately needed. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, it's just so much fun. You know, sometimes I still get a little rough with them, but most of the time I got to go home and have tea parties and play in their little Barbie doll houses and stuff. It's a different aspect that people don't get to see, but I love every minute of it. Like, look at her. She's so beautiful, oh, right? Oh, she is beautiful. That's my Thank God she looked like a mom. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. She's so beautiful, though. All of my daughters, so beautiful. It was always amazing to me that the NFL wasn't in L.A. So take us behind the curtain. What is it like with the NFL being on the premier team really right now in the city of Los Angeles? Yeah, honestly, uh, when you think of L.A. and L.A. sports, you think of like champions and historic uh, teams and franchises. So, you know, I wasn't here when when they start when they came back to L.A. From the beginning, I was in Jacksonville. But being able to come out here, it was so kind of rejuvenating to my career and uh, just my energy and my soul. And it's and it's been it's been great. It's been everything that I hoped it would be and dreamed it would be. Football is football, but something special about playing on Sunday night. Oh yeah. How do you feel when you get a chance to play in front of the world and everybody's oh, yeah. watching? Sunday night, packed crowd here, no millions watching on TV. It's the greatest feeling ever. You want to go out there, you want to honor God, you want to let his light shine through you. That's right. You want to let all the people out there see who you really are, what you are capable of, not only yourself but your teammates too. And I feel like we did that tonight. Uh, you know, it's just week one, so we got a lot of a lot of mistakes to correct. I ain't going to say a lot, but we got, we got some mistakes to correct yeah. and some things to clean up. But, man, it, it was a blessing to just be out here and come away with the win. My last question. Yeah. Do you guys talk about Super Bowl because most teams, ah, oh, it's kind of, of taboo. Of course do, we. Of, but do you feel like you can reach the Super Bowl now that you have this quarterback? Of course. Of course, that's always the goal. Um, and, and, of course, if, if you got big dreams and you got big goals, you're going to talk about it sometimes. Mm -hmm. You're going you're gonna to bring it up. That's always what we're pushing for. When, when things get tough, maybe when practice gets hard out here and during the game it gets hard, we got to remember in the back of our minds what we're really doing is what we're doing it for each other. We're doing it to reach a Super Bowl and win a Super Bowl. So we, uh, we got all the players. We got all the pieces here. We just got to continue to put it together, continue growing. Um, but, yeah, we talk about it here and there. We don't try to harp on it because, right. you know, we got to go week by week. That's right. You can't win the Super Bowl today in September, October, November. You can't win it right now. So it's a, it's a long play. But, you know, everything that we're doing right now is taking steps to be there at the end of the time. Man, nothing but admiration for you, I appreciate brother. you, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank All you. the best to I you. Both I guys. remember the last time we were selling houses <laughs> we were in Jacksonville, selling houses in Florida. Jacksonville, right? <laughs> That's exactly right, yeah. man. You seem great mentally, physically. Your game seems awesome. No doubt. Congratulations on everything. Thank you, man. And he's a safety. I don't care yes, what they say. He is safe. I'm, I'm a DB. <laughs> Just throw right. it out. That's throw right, it out He's a football player. That's right. That's, That's what he is. A pure football player. Thank you, really man. appreciate you, All man. the best to you, bro. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.